Hi YouTube, I wanted to make a quick video. This is my 2004 Toyota Sequoia and a year ago I began having dash light come on with brake codes. Initially I had a C1223, C1241, and C1247 and I know those codes because when the dash lights came on I bought this blue driver tester and it was able to tell me the codes as well as possible repairs. The repair ended up being to use an electronic cleaner on the anti-lock brake system electronic control module, lifting up this bar, working this connector out, and then using a pipe cleaner and carefully cleaning both sides of that and using liberal amounts of this spray cleaner to get it fixed. And that took care of it, but then new problems developed. Several weeks later, I then got a C1360 code. Dash lights, the VSC track came on, the VSC off came on, and the brake light came on. And that indicated that the pressure sensors, which are down here underneath the master cylinder, hard to show you, were malfunctioning. And I didn't have a lot of options at the moment. What I did, was removed the harness connectors. It's hard to reach down there. You reach down close to the wires. There's a tab, one on each side. You push and then you wiggle these down and remove them. And then again, liberally use the electronic cleaner. The first time I got just a couple days, the air code's gone and then they came back. And the next time I cleaned them more aggressively with the cleaner and now it's been several days, the codes remained off. I'll probably have to remove these pressure sensors. They're $350 a piece at Napa. I don't know how much they are at Toyota, but you can buy two for 43 bucks on eBay. And this entire pressure cylinder and flow valve can also be bought for only $42 on eBay. The other thing I did while I was doing this, because the theme seems to be that the electronic connectors are getting dirty. So I cleaned the sensor to the float valve, and then I removed these to the boot, uh, the brake booster and cleaned them as well. I'm not sure this is a permanent fix. My plan is to come back next time I'm with this vehicle, have the pressure sensors, have the uh, master cylinder ready to replace if I need to. I hope that this helps you out, and thank you to all of you who post these videos, because it's been very helpful to me.